The sun is the center of our solar system as a giant ball of plasma. It's pretty hard to miss him in its 30 million degree center. You would see hydrogen fuse into helium and release energy. Magnetic fields cause solar flares and coronal mass ejections and charge particles from these bursts can damage electronic connections at 100 times as wider than 93 miles far. Despite all of this, it's just an average sized star. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, they're made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and as such, it takes the least time to run around its orbit. It seems only 88 days, and solar winds means a little gas stays on its surface, rocking full of craters. There's no atmosphere, and its temperature wavers from 800 Fahrenheit to minus 300 at night. But there's still some eyes away from the light. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four. Our planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, they're made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Venus is the second planet from the sun, the same size as Earth, give or take some. Venus is covered in a thick layer of clouds made of carbon dioxide, which in effect shrouds the planet from losing heat like a giant blanket, making Venus 700 degrees due to the greenhouse effect. It's covered with volcanoes and it's shaped by their powers, and the only probes have landed to have it died within two hours. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like Oz. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Earth is the third planet from the sun. I got a feeling you're familiar with this one. It's the only planet known to have it like in its history. How it all started is still a bit of a mystery. Four billion years ago, two proto planets collided, and our moon was formed when collision and debris united. Earth is in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot or too cold. For liquid water to exist in life, once we know it to take hold. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like Oz. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It's our place where voyages have begun. Its surface is covered with red iron oxide, and it's much of its atmosphere is full of flammable, so we have no idea how to feel inside. Early astronomers saw canals everywhere, and they thought perhaps aliens had put them there. Thanks to telescopes, all better than rovers, we don't know. There are no such alien canals, although rivers, deltas, volcanoes, and canyons abound. There's little water left, but life on Mars will still be found, so we spend a safe craft. They're like here, yes, a T, to try to figure out Art Mars's geologic history. Between the inner planets and the outer planets there are billions of asteroids orbiting and belt around our stars. Sometimes they are knocked out of their stable orbit and if you might collide if it, they, they don't avoid it. Why the belt? Well, it has to do with Jupiter, you see. It pulls the belt with its masses of gravity, preventing asteroids from forming another planet. But don't worry, a big one can't hit Earth soon, or can it? Jupiter is a fifth planet from the sun, bigger than all the others combined, really a thousandth of the sun. It's a gas giant, so it has a red stain. That doesn't mean the surface is plain. The great red spot is a giant fleck on the surface, and it's centuries old and bigger than the Earth is. There are four months that with binoculars you can see, discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. Eo has volcanoes heated by friction tides, and Europe is covered with ice and ocean inside. Ganymede is the largest moon that we know exists, and Columbus is covered in craters from the asteroids that it hits. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like Oz. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. In terms of beauty, it's rings of clarity one. They're made of bits of ice and rock orbiting through the void, and they may have been made when a moon was destroyed. Saturn is the least dense of any planet known. The most oblate, its central focal fuse is really shown. A Titan has lakes of methane, thick layer and chase. Enceladus has water in liquid phase. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first form planets rocky like Oz. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, they're made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun, and dirty jokes about his name are deserving of shun. The much is known about Uranus or its big brother Neptune. Because Voyager 2 is the only craft to go to him. Uranus has a ring system, but not as great as Saturn. And it's usually devoid of any interesting pattern, but not much is known about the place that I can say. But hopefully we'll send another space craft someday. Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like Oz. 
Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, they're made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Neptune is the eighth and final planet from our star. The sun is a thousand times thinner there because it is so far. Similar to Uranus in mass, the size and composition and changes in Uranus orbit has ejected its position. You might have noticed Neptune is a bright blue. It's methane in this atmosphere that gives it its hue. It's the windiest planet with 1,000 mile per gas, and Triton has liquid nitrogen spewing from its crust. I'm not alone, just look at the stars. You see, most stars have their own collection of bodies. And that is what the search for exoplanets studies. And there are far more stars than you can see. The 300 billion in our galaxy. The 100 and billions of galaxies that we know. So think about how small you are down here below. Can it? What? <laughs> oh God.